Yo, if you wanna edit fast and get zero delay just like this. Make sure y'all stick until the end of the video because in the video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to edit faster and improve y'all's mechanics and also get zero delay settings. All these tips and tricks are what the pros use, so make sure you stick until the end of the video and watch it all the way through so you don't miss nothing. Then, yeah, enjoy oh the video. Mm -hmm. All right, so for the first thing to edit faster, make sure y'all play a good OVO map. Like, this is my map right here, it has a really, really good delay, it has zero delay. Had it fast in this map, I had all my clips in this map. It's just really good delay, so make sure y'all find a good map to play, like mine. If y'all want the code on the screen, it'll be right here. But yeah. All right, next thing is, if you go over here to these settings on the third one, then you go to the building section, and you go to auto confirm edits and put them on both. Because if you have it on none, this is how your edits do. You have to confirm your edits. You have to, here, let me put the PS4 layer for y'all. You have to edit. My head button is right on D-pad. Select, which is my R1, and then L2. Same thing with the resetting. Press the edit button. R2 is my reset, and then confirm. It's just too much, you know. It's just way too much. So I don't release it, it's just auto confirming your edits. You just edit, select, and done. Edit, select, and done. Same thing reset. Like this. Reset, reset, edit, edit, reset, reset, edit, edit. You know what I'm saying? It's just way, way quicker, you know? Way, way quicker, for sure. So make sure I have that on. I promise it'll help so much. Most people, they don't confirm the edits when they mess up. But if you have an edit on release on and reset on release on too, it will auto confirm your edits and auto reset your edits so you'll never mess up again. And yeah. Another thing is to edit faster is your timing. Practicing your timing with your edits and how your ping is and how your APS is. And just based off on how your full delay is, you have to time your edits right because everybody's timing is going to be different depending on how delayed you are. So for me, I'm on zero ping. So it's not really going to give me any delay because I'm hard zero. But just practicing your double edits like this will get you used to your delay. Just go and like, just practice it like this. Edit, edit, reset, edit, reset, edit, edit, reset, edit, edit, reset, edit, edit, reset, edit, edit, reset. You know? And then eventually you'll be able to do this. As you can see, I'm like, really, really less delay. But yeah, if y'all do those type of edits, I just edit, edit, reset. This will get your timing used to your double edits, and it'll just make it easier. Another thing, you just spam quad edits to the left and right. If you spam quad edits to the left and right, you'll get used to doing it, and it'll just be like a habit. Like me, I do it like with ease, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, just practice all the edits, all the edits that you mainly do, and just get the timer right there when you, you have a good delay, you know what I'm saying? Another thing is turning up your innocence. I know it's like kind of common sense if you want to edit faster, trying to be innocence, but I mean, trying it up like a lot. Like, my normal innocence used to be like 2.4, and I put it to 2.7, 2.9. Just having it high like that, you can just flick so much easier. Because any edit that you mess up, you can always do it again real quick. So you still have the same timing that you usually do. You know? Another thing to edit faster is selecting with R1. This is like my main secret to edit it faster because R1 is a button and not a trigger like r2 even though i have trigger stoppers right here i don't know if i can see it but here i'm trying to show you like they don't go down they don't go all the way down it's like a button but i always been on the r1 select so you know what i'm saying just use it try it out stay on it for like a day or two and i promise you edits will get quicker and yeah another thing to edit fast is your fps if you lower your fps because you can't keep it stable like like me i can't keep stable 240 sometimes like when i stream so i put it to like 160 or 180 and I'm still good on it. Like, I can still do all my abilities and stuff on it, you know. It's not really that big of a difference because I've been on both of them for a long time. But I'd just rather pick 240, you know. But as you can see, I'm still moving on lower FPS. If you drop your FPS, it doesn't mean you're going to be bad, you know. It'll still be good. But if your PC's not as good, like me, my PC's not that good. I have a 36 in the Ryzen 5. If your PC is not that good, you can lower your PS to make it more stable to whatever your PC can hold, you know? Like, mine holds a good 180 FPS. Like, not stream, like 160. That's why I go to 160. And yeah, another thing to edit fast is your ping. As y'all can see, I have AMS. I have, like, hard zero. I live right by downtown Dallas by the server. To make your ping better, you probably have to get a Ethernet or better internet. Or if you're just far from the server, there's nothing really you can do no matter what good internet you get. You have to be somewhat close to the server to get like super low ping. That's why I'm hard zero ping. Gotta turn my hood up and show you guys. I'm gonna move my webcam for y'all. 
so y'all can see uh, my ping. And there y'all go. As y'all can see up there. Let me look the other way. It says zero ping right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says zero ping. Yeah, I'm just I'm just really close to the server. Super, super close. That's why my ping is very, very good. And yeah. Another thing is, this is for PC only. If you have VSync off, try turning it on because having VSync on disables screen tear, but it will lower your FPS. And if you have it off, it will higher your FPS, but it won't help with screen tearing, you know what I'm saying? So turn it off and on and see which one's better for you. I sometimes turn it on. People say turn it on, but nah, I don't. Another thing for PC is the resolution. Putting your resolution down does give you less delay, but that makes your game look like mobile, like, like here. Yeah, it just makes your game look bad, but it still plays good, okay? It's actually way better. Another thing for PC is your controller layout. I usually play on generic because I feel like generic is the lowest delayed one. Again, this is only for PC. As I can see, my binds, they look different. They say they're different buttons, but they're not. Obviously, because I can see my hand cam. I'm on controller. You know, this is me. Edit. Edit. No. You said, you said, this is me. You know what I'm saying? But as I was saying, I think the generic one is the most lowest delayed one, but it also gives you the most lowest aim assist as well. That's why people do Xbox because it does like a little half and half. It's like half less delayed, half good aim, you know what I'm saying? But for the most aim assist is PS4 controller. But for the lowest delay is generic. And the middle is Xbox One, man. I don't really know what these two do yet. The PS5 and the XS, X and S. But yeah. I say generic if you want lower delay. If you want better aim, keep it on PS4. Another thing to edit more faster and to be more consistent is your settings or your sensitivity. My bad. Keeping this the same and never changing it will make you more consistent, which will make you edit more faster, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but never changing your sense will make you more used to your sense and you'll be more consistent, which will make you edit faster and where you need to edit, you know what I'm saying? So don't change your sense. Don't copy nobody's sense. I don't care if the best control player drops of sense, aka me, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But don't change your sense, bro, you know? Just don't change it too much. Same thing with binds too. Make sure y'all stay on y'all's binds. Unless you're really willing to put in the work to try new binds, then maybe, yeah, go ahead. But if you're not that type of person like me, I hate changing my binds. I've been on these binds since like four or three years ago, bro. I switch them up every now and then when I get used to it, but it's not really a major switch. Like I used to edit with touchpad, but now I edit with D-pad. I used to edit with D-pad back then, so it's really nothing new to me. All right, for the last thing I'm gonna show y'all is I'm gonna go through my sense and tell y'all what would be the best sense to edit the fastest. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. First off, build sensitivity. I say put your building mode to anything between 1.9 to 2.3 or 2.2. .2. And also with your edit, I say anything from 2.4 to 2.9. These don't really matter unless you put it like under 40. Then it would be like too slow. But if you have it between like 40 to 45, you can edit with your pump out or edit with your pickaxe out or whatever. And these boosts, these boosts will make you faster. But for me, personally, I don't need it because my edit sense is already fast. So instant boost when building this uh, every time you pull out your builds, well, it's kind of self explanatory. Every time you pull out your builds, um, it gives you a boost every time you pull it out. So it'll be good if you shoot somebody, you need to pull your builds out real quick. And next is linear. Make sure you put on linear. X potential is hard to look smooth on or whatever. But make sure you be on linear. And the dead zone. Lower your dead zone. More responsive is higher dead zone. Less responsive. So I'm in the middle. I say anything from 7 to 10 is good. So I'm at 8. I'm not saying. I think that's what's best. Set it fast. 